Hello, everybody. Argon over here, getting back some more. Let's play Nino Kuni. Uh, so I finally got all the um, the creatures for this guy. I finally got the extra sprout cog. Sorry to keep you waiting, Derwin. Are these the critters you were after? This is simply marvelous. Science salutes you. Gaze at their cold, inorganic beauty. Behold the dull gleam of their bodies. They are the perfect specimens. But I cannot gawp at them gormlessly all day. I must collect data, and lots of it. Um, Derwin? It's no use. He's away with the fairies, Ollie boy. Nothing but creatures on his mind, that one. Oh, apologies. I was momentarily absorbed in matters which are too complicated to explain. Please accept this for your services to science. Huzzah. Now I'm also going to turn in the two bounty quests and we can go try and find some confidence. I also need to get some armor and such for my peeps. Turn these in, claim some bounties. Dragon bro and be able to go take to the world the skies Oh yeah, he has the confident. Oh yeah, freaking Captain Bumblebutt Kublai has the confidence that he could beat Shadar. That Shadar wouldn't be able to stand a chance against him. That's a lot of confidence to spare. Maybe not really to spare, but All right, we're gonna freaking save after I did that. Yeah, it took a it took an amount of time to get the uh, the Sprog Cog, but I I ended up going to the fairy grounds to get him, as opposed to Autumnia. Ali boy, man, look at your locket, will you? It's glowing like nobody's business. I'm sure it wasn't doing that before. So it's Kublai. Well, I guess he does have a lot of confidence. Did you speak my name, boy? Why, then? I take it you've got a cure for my dragon? Uh, not just yet, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, are you? Well, don't be. At least you're trying, which is more than I can say for the rest of my scurvy crew. Uh, actually, Captain Kublai, sir, we were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. Out with it, then, boy. I don't much care for meekness. Well, there's somebody who had a piece of their heart stolen, and we were wondering if you could use a piece of your heart to help them. That's right. After all, not many people have got as much confidence as you, man. I don't care much for flattery either, fairy. What would you have me do? 
You don't need to do anything. Just stand there while Ollie Boy waves his wand and it'll be over before you know it. Very well. Do your worst. Very well. My worst is getting done. The heaven sent strength to believe in oneself. Ah, what have you done to me, boy? What is this feeling? It is... It is... Not bad. Jeepers, that sure is a big hunk of confidence. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. That locket of yours is hit to burst. Now, let's head over to Motorville and mend that Denny lad's broken heart, shall we? Sure thing, Mr. Rippy. Thanks a lot, Captain Kublai, sir. It was nothing, boy. You could have taken more for all I cared. Oh, before you part, take these. I found them in a pile of plunder. They mean nothing to me, but I dare say... They might sit well in that magic book of yours. Hmm. Hey, they're page from the Wizard's Companion with new spells for me to try. Thanks, Captain Kublai. Ta, Pirate Face. Right, time to get moving, Ollie Boy. Motorville, here we come. Did you just call me Pirate Face? I'll have you walk the plank for such mutiny. Man, I wish I could move much faster. Don't hit you, hit me, you let you yellow jerk. Freaking how dare. Freaking how dare. Alright. Time to fix you up, boyo. Right, oh, Wiley boy, time to hand over that confidence. Teeny bit laggy there, but nothing too bad. <laughs> huh? What? What are you doing? Myrtle? Denny! I can feel it, the pain in his heart. It's disappearing. Oh! Hey, boy. You're here, too? I'm so sorry. I've caused everybody so much trouble. It's not your fault. You were, uh, my, my heart. It feels so light, like a weight has been lifted. You did this, didn't you? He did, and he did the same for me, Denny. Oliver knows how to use magic spells. Myrtle, shut your mouth. Heh, <laughs> I'd be surprised hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle. Wait, no, I, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Oliver. He doesn't actually believe her. Oh, woof. You're right, Genghis. We need to get back in training. But Denny, your leg. Are you sure you should? Ha, huh, that is just a scratch. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that. The longer I sit around, the faster the others get. I can't let them beat me. I have to make the cut next time. <laughs> That's the Denny I know. Good luck. Ha, huh, thanks, but I won't need it. Come on, boy. It's training time. I can feel myself getting slower by the second. Oh, Crikey, he doesn't look too slow to me. <laughs> Looks like he's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of the heart. You did it again, Oliver. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Denny. His heart was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, aren't you? Maybe even a handsome prince. <laughs> Cut it out, Myrtle. Hey, I sure hope Denny makes the state championships, don't you? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> it won't be easy, but something tells me he'll make it. Of course he will, especially now that we've helped him on the way. Oh no, I have to go back to the store. Huh? What's wrong, Myrtle? I was in the middle of opening up. Miss Layla will be so mad. What? You were working? Jeepers, you need to get back there. <laughs> She's just as easily distracted as someone else I could mention. Oh yes, and who might that be? Myrtle looked like she was in the right old pot, man. We better go and make sure she's all right, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> she'll be fine. She knows what she's doing. Mm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I forget. Myrtle knows what she's doing. I'm so sorry, Miss Layla. I didn't mean to leave the store like that. 
Myrtle, dear, where have you been? I was worried about you. Look, it's Esther and the other one. <laughs> and who might you be, sweetie? This little lady's been around an awful lot lately. Eh? What little lady? There you are. Hello, Oliver. I've been looking for you. P? P? She's here somewhere? <laughs> Is she a friend of yours, Oliver? Then I'll leave you two and get back to work. See you soon. Well, it looks like you found who you were looking for, dearie. I'll leave you with Oliver, shall I? Thanks, Miss Layla. Have a nice day. Oliver, I have to tell you something. I'm sorry, P. What is it? Eh? Who's he saying sorry to? Oliver, the slithery one and the doggy one and the bony one. They're coming. The keepers. You have to be careful. I, I don't understand, P. Yes, you do. Just be careful. No, I don't. Okay, P. I'll try. Er, what? Who are you just talking to? Huh? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl I know. I see her here in Motorville sometimes. I've seen her in my dreams, too. But we can't see her. No, I still can't figure out why. Huh? She's gone. She always does this. What's wrong? Did she disappear again? Uh-huh. And I didn't understand what she was trying to tell me. Ah, uh, I think I get it. Get what, Drippy? Well, Myrtle and that lot can't see us from our world, right? So that means P probably can't see us lot either, isn't it? It's the same, but the other way around, you mean? That's right. It's not so weird when you think about it, eh? Us not being able to see someone from another world. Uh, it's not? Oh, who cares? As long as you can see her, eh, Oliver? Yeah, I'm more worried about going and seeing how Tengri's doing. If your guess was right, Oliver... Isn't it, though? We've sorted Denny out, so Tengri should be able to fly again, Tidy. You're right. Let's go check on Tengri. That's what I wanted to do before I got... ...decidetracted. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Hi there, Captain Kublai. Uh, do you know where Tangri is? God, <laughs> you come at a good time, boy. You see? That sound. Uh. Tangri. Tangri! Behold, he's a sight for sore eyes, and no mistake, he stopped snibbling and took to the skies again not long after you left. Like magic it was. Wait, you meddling dogs did something while my back was turned, didn't you? Well, it's a little hard to explain, but we went to another world, and Oliver helped the Tengri there get better. All you need to know is that Oliver's magic is the reason T Tengri is flying again. <laughs> Still spouting nonsense, I see. But no matter, you did as you said you would. I'll not question your methods. <laughs> I had no idea the real Tengri was so lively. This is how dragons should be. Hmm. Seems like he's taking a liking to you, and after all my hard work. Gah, so be it. I know when I'm beaten. He's yours. You're his master now, lad. You and you and he both know it already. What? Really? But... What's the matter, worm? Not good enough for you? No. No, sir. Thank you very much, Captain Kublai, sir. Gah! <laughs> That's settled, then. Tengri, lad, say hello to your new master. Kya kya! <laughs> nice to meet you too, Tengri. Likewise, I'm sure. All right, let's go find the magic stones. Set a southward course, lad. You'll happen upon Solitary Isles soon enough. <laughs> We're flying! Oh, Tidy! We're actually flying! <laughs> it's nice and comfy up here. Come on, Tengri, let's fly! Away we go! <laughs> so I have my airship now. Flippin' Nora, is this high enough for you, Ollie boy? Righto, since the smallest mistake up here will result in certain death, I reckon now is a good time to give you Captain Drippy's Don't Crash Chorus in Dragon Flying. Don't worry, bud. If you survive the first five minutes, there's nothing to it. 
You just change direction with the left stick and use the right stick to have a good look around, isn't it? Oh, and when you want to plonk your feet back on solid ground, press X and you'll see a circle appear. Shift the circle to where you want it, and then press X to land in that spot. Change your mind and carry on the line in the circle. If it's red, you'll have to find somewhere else. Once you've had enough of being back on boring gold ground, honk on that dragon horn pirate face gave you and Tinker will come flapping. Just press up and you'll give it a good old parp. But enough of my yabbering. Let's enjoy a dragon's eye view of your world. Of the world, eh? Does he just automatically go over mountains and stuff? He does. That's nice. <laughs> now that I have Dragon Bro, there's nowhere I can't go. For the most part, I believe. I want to go and have me a spot of fun flying around the world. Seeing what I can see. Pond worm and a tad about. Or pod pom rather. So we're just going to be flying around the world for the rest of the video, explore and see what we can find. Planet Crystal? The heck's that? Oh, it's a... Alchemical ingredient, huh? Okay, neat, neat, neat. Cool, cool, cool. For what? I don't know, but you can't have too many alchemical ingredients. Explore around the area. It'll be fun times, fun happy times. Messy plusy. There's nothing. We did it. Yes, we did. Oh, what a sound. I do, thank you.
Sasquatch. Oh, I got us. I think I got the stronger form of him. Actually traverse the freaking frosty tundras. The hell is that thing? Can I not get in there yet? Homeboys only? The glittering grotto. Ning to you, you cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yule, yes? You do not know where I'm seeking, go simply south, yes? Okay. Let's go a bit south. Ah, there you are. Gate's locked. Looks like we can't get in. Not that we have any reason to be. We have plenty of reason to be there. God dang it. Yeah, just go around exploring the world. Doesn't really appear to be anything on this particular island, huh? Unless there's a freaking hidden forest village here somewhere. Go fairy, bro. Let's do it. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Things are very dangerous here. <laughs> I 
things are incredibly dangerous here. Oh, here's the Hurricane Forest village, like I thought. Let me guess. Can't. Nope, not strong enough. I just want to explore around the world before we continue on with the main story. No, see what kind of cool familiars are lurking around the world. Oh, heavy mist. That looks like it'd be the, well, a very important location. But Tengri can't land because he's blind. Too thick for you to land here too, my man. The mist's not the mist's not even here. Uh fine. Like you can very clearly see the ground down there, Tank Green, but whatever. You're the dragon. <sighs> You've got all the power. Oh, huh, there's some kind of writing on this stone. I wonder what it says. Well, now that we have Tengri... <laughs> that may have opened up some new stuff at the, uh... The Swift Solutions. New Merit rewards so we'll check that out and call it and then next time we'll head out to the actual main story stuff oh my god get out of my way bro Until next time, this has been Ark Nova playing Nino Kuni. Stay cool.